In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a gradient blur in Blender 2.10.14, or at least this is how I do it. So first thing you do is, of course, duplicate your layer. Probably only need to duplicate it once, but I like to duplicate it several times. Now, I'm going to do a very rough cutout because I'm not actually going to be using this image, but this is just to demonstrate want my subject being the van to be sticking out of the image a little bit. So the idea here is we are just cutting out the van and we want to end at kind of a same focal di distance or same distance from the camera because the blur is based on distance. So uh, I picked the front of the van on the one corner to be my ground level and then on this side I'm going to actually pick right about there and click off and then go all the way around and close our loop and then I'm going to actually reduce the blur or the feathering I'm going to right click I'm going to copy then I'm going to go back to paste as new layer so now we have a new layer don't need those um, but now I also want a probably cut out this tree because it should be at a single depth not a gradient depth so I'm going to just do a very rough cut out of this but you should actually do this a lot more feathered so I will set its blur to try and match the same level of blur as where the ground where it started is close the circle and this one I think I'll feather a whole bunch going to copy, paste as new layer, and I should probably duplicate both of these just for backups. Don't need the second one of each of those. And this one should actually be on top. So let's go like that. Now let's uh, unselect. Now on this layer, here let's get rid of that and that, I'm going to right click on the layer, go add layer mask, and you want to go layer alpha channel, add, then go up over here and click that, and then click and drag, and that is backwards from the way we want, so Let's move that up because whatever's totally visible is going to be totally blurred and whatever is totally invisible will be totally unblurred. So I'm going to just, and I'm kind of doing it at a bit of an angle because my line, my ground kind of goes off that direction and, and tapers off quicker here. And I want these trees because they are closer to be less blurred than these trees. So I'm just going to and the longer the line is, the more gradual the uh, blur is. So down here is going to be not blurred at all, but then up here is going to be completely blurred. So I'm going to go up a bit more. Let's go like that. You can just move it around. Uh, I want to go like kind of at that angle. So these trees over here are just a little bit not blurred. And over here, it goes off. Now, right over here, it should be completely blurred. So maybe I need to move this down just a little bit. Uh, it's a bit more than I was expecting. Now, but yeah. Okay. So now I'm just going to hit enter. And if I like it, I'm going to right go over here, right click on that, hit apply layer mask. Now I am going to make this visible. And I am going to make sure I've selected the layer that I want to blur. I'm going to go up here to filters, blur. I'm just going to do a basic grunge blur. And I'm going to increase it just a little bit. Like if we go all the way, you'll see it's completely blurred out up there. And it comes down to in focus here. But I think that's a bit aggressive even for this example. So I'm going to tail that back a whole bunch to make it look a bit more regular. 
something like that looks kind of nice and then okay but now this tree we want to give it a bit of blur to match down there so let's just blur grunge blur let's give it just a little bit let's give it that and there we go uh, so the rocks are pretty smooth here and it just gets more and more blurry as we go up to where it's just completely well, completely gone over there the vehicle's still in focus and the gravel you can see but it just gets more and more blurry it's like over here it's quite a bit more blurry now just to sh see what we're looking at here so not blurry blurry not blurry blurry not so here so it just gives it that nice bokeh or whatever um, so that's the original image and there we are i hope this helps thanks for watching